Good afternoon. Welcome to Craft Sash Live. I'm really excited to have you here and I'm really excited to have you here as well. We've got the lovely Sheena with us today. You've probably seen all of the announcements and the posts and the photos and everything going up on Craft Stash, but Sheena has joined the Craft Stash family, which is ridiculously exciting. Oh, I'm, I'm giddy. I am giddy, Lou. Do you I'm really very, giddy? very happy. And so far, <laughs> it's fabulous. Loving it. Brilliant. I'm glad. We're trying to make make you part of the family straight yeah. away, um, yeah. even buying you lunch. Oh, well, good. Yeah. That's, yeah. I didn't tell them, but that's all they took. Really. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. You can't go anywhere. There we go, fantastic. <laughs> but for yourselves, that means you've got amazing inspiration coming your way for the next hour. I'm actually, for a change, gonna be pretty quiet because we're going to concentrate on some techniques today. Um, I mean, you go ahead, you, te you tell us what you're going to do. We're, we're colouring in again. You know, the last the last live was all about um, a water-based potted pencils, water, um, water pencils, watercolour pencils. Yeah. And I tend to, um, to gravitate towards water-based colouring products. Myself as well. Yeah. Can, you know the messy thing, there's yeah. a reason. Yeah. That was me being so constrained. <laughs> Today, it's like super constrained because sometimes you just want to be a bit mindful, mm -hmm. slow it down, take yep. your time. And you know, you can't get messy. You don't want to get messy. And we're talking regular coloured pencils today and we're talking Faber Castell pencils. Gorgeous. But you know there's, there's things and I'm sure I'm not, uh, well, I'm, it's one of those things that's so readily readily accessible. Yeah. Um, most of us have tried them at some point. Yes. To, with varying degrees of success and love, you well, know, maybe the love's not there. I mean, regardless of the brand, a colouring pencil is something we probably all picked up as a child and Absolutely. so it's not an unknown tool to most of us. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, exactly. But there's things that, um, little tips and tricks that, and big tips and tricks I want to share today that will hopefully um, have you feeling the love and realise the difference between that, that, why is it not working for me, what can I do, what can I mean? So that's what we're going to go from basics. We're going to go from the absolute, I'm absolute basics, and this so is what excited. we're going to be working through. Now, this is the free download as well. Yes, you so know where that is, absolutely. You? So if you pop along to craftworld.com, you'll be able to be able to find these downloads. There's, is there three? Am I right? There's three. three. Yes, three the, available. The image is the same, mm -hmm. and of course, you can use different mediums. To, but this is the colour pencil one we're going to work through today. And there's different um, different wording for different occasions. Beautiful. Yeah. Can we just pop that to this camera here that so we can have a nice oh, close up look at it? Pop there, there we go. We'll it. just shift that yeah. out of the way. Look at that. Isn't it absolutely stunning? So you're going to be able to learn with us today. I say with us. I'm just <laughs> sitting here talking and doing camera things. You're going to be able to learn with Sheena today how to colour like an absolute expert and enjoy the process as well. Oh, it's got to be enjoyable. All right, well, we'll do it. I'm just, exactly. you know, well, that's me. And just to say, look, this is all just one uh, printout. There's no cutting or sticking or any um, the little Perfect. ribbons there. Everything's just one one printout. But what I've done is actually, as you can see, I've um, I've done a bit of decoupage. Oh, of course. So have you coloured the flowers underneath as well? Have you been yeah, good? So yeah. Well, the ones underneath the lot stuck on it. Yeah. Let me show you. Be as okay. Easy. Perfect. So shall we start with the basics? So definitely I'm going to bring you down so we can okay. see the desk for now we'll come back to that close-up in a little while yeah. so um, by all means I'll just do very very quickly just say a few hellos so yeah. I don't forget people and then we'll go straight into this right starting from the top on Facebook the first few people watching um, well let's come back to our face I feel, I feel bad saying hello to people and it's on Sheena's hands um, Sherry Miller good morning to you Marie, is she a friend of yours? Yes, yeah, she's a friend. You know, she's become a good friend through um, the Inkettes. And Sherry lives um, in uh, in America. She's a, from across oh, the pond. So she's up early this morning. Yeah, she is, Sherry. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, Sherry. Um, Maria Husk always joins our lives, as does Lynn Bell. Hello to you. Um, Julie Temperton. There's so many people. Thank you so much. What I will do, everybody, is I will try to put any questions to Sheena as they come in. I'll try and keep an eye on, it, on them, both on Facebook and on YouTube, because I know you're watching on both platforms today. If you've got a question that you desperately want answering right now, put it in capitals. That's the best way for me to spot it quickly. <laughs> Shout. Yeah, and we will go through all of the comments. There's myself, Sheena, and lovely Maria sitting behind here as well. We'll all go through the comments and make sure that nothing goes unanswered in the end, even if it means commenting back later. Brilliant. Okay, Cheers. right, let's bring you back and right, I will continue to go through those comments and shout out questions as we go. Hey, fantastic. I do need I do need a posse, believe me, I need you <laughs> at all times. So um here's now I'm gonna try and be as quick as possible about the stuff that isn't gonna be fun and colouring, but we've 
for me, I want to understand stuff. If I understand it, then I can um, I can play nice with it. So talking about coloured pencils, now I am using the Faber Castell Polychromos. This is a pencil I've used for years. Like, you almost tell it of saying, yes. I have the mothership. And it was a oh, gift a couple of years ago, a birthday gift. You know the one that you lift the lid up and it's like, Whoa! That it, it's in the presentation oh, box and everything. everything. Yeah, it's just a thing of beauty. Um, but that doesn't mean you need to start there. Just before we even go any further, do not think you need the mothership to do anything okay. great. I've got a limited set I'm working with today, just saying, and I'm going to show you that shortly. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you about the pencils and why you want to, why I would recommend you go with a, an artist quality okay. and why these particular pencils. So the Faber Castell, or even down to the wood they're in, the wood has to be a good top quality wood because you're going to have to sharpen it. You might have used a pencil that when you sharpen it, the wood chews up and it ends up where you end up where breaking the core. Yeah. So that's important, even the wood. It's the the core is bonded to the wood, which means that if you drop it, there's less chance uh, of it breaking. I've had that. So I've had yeah. another brand of pencil. Yeah. I won't say which because yeah. they are fabulous, but yeah. uh, I dropped the whole box. Oh, well, the cat knocked worse. the whole box oh. off and I am now having to keep resharpening because the yeah. insides keep breaking. Absolutely. It's that's what happens. And the bits can even come out the middle. Yes. So that's important. Now, the biggest thing with any colouring product, any colouring product is made up of uh, two main things. The pigment, or they wouldn't have any colour, the pigment, that's what you're looking for, and the binder, alright, that's what makes a paint, a colouring product, anything. The pigment, you don't want any fillers in if you can help it, okay. you can put extras in, you know, mm -hmm. like when you pad it out with things you can't see, which is where you, the student quality or the kids quality yes. pencils. But then less expensive, presumably. Exactly, or but you get less colour. Yeah. So when you, when you put some colour down, you know, you were maybe going to put, think of your paint when you do a house, you know, you go and you buy a massive tub of white emulsion and oh, you've got yes. to put like four coats on a wall. Oh, and yes. And then you go for the one coat and it's like, oh, why did I not do that before? It actually saves money it, in the long run, really, doesn't it? Absolutely. So that's what we're talking about. And so the pigment and the, and the binder. The binder in this pencil, with coloured pencils, there's two main binders, wax and oil. These ones are oil based, so that's the pencil. Mm -hmm. the The reason I have um, also loved the Faber Castell is that they come in what they call open stock. So as I was saying, any size um, set that you buy, whether it's just the little, the mini, the twenty fours, even the twelves, mm -hmm. you can add to them. You don't need that mothership. But let me. This is a thing I've discovered. Right. This 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 is my latest. Treat me. <gasps> now I've had pencil rolls before, and the important thing is about pencil rollers dropping them exactly that you transport them yes of course if they're in a tin and just happen to me i put them in my bag and they're all in the bottom of my bag yeah oh. every single time yeah oh yeah. man and I, I, I was sad and i have to put time then put them back in order because i have to have them in color uh, yeah, well, of course it's easy to yeah, find, isn't it? it? It's a so, rainbow thing. So this, absolutely. <laughs> so this is what I have here. Now, some of them are turned around because I am using, I've got chosen the ones I'm going to colour in with today. Okay. So even though all these are here, mm -hmm. there's very few I'm going to be using. But there's That's, not, was there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight maybe? Pencils, and that yeah. includes a black and a white? Absolutely, yeah. So everything in this kit's available. And these two things I'm going to take out because I'm going to talk about those in a minute and the pencil shop now. But this is a fabulous, fabulous roll. Now, the spare space in there for your extra. So what I was saying is when you buy certain maybe craft pencils, they come in a box and what you've got is um, is basically what you've um, what you've got in that tin. And when you run out of that particular colour, you can buy another tin. Oh, of course. But yeah. with Faber Castell, they're what they call you, know, you get open stock. Great. Which so just means replace. that you buy them yeah, because, bit of, uh, yeah. as I said, yeah, I've got a big set of colouring pencils, and they were they were quite a yeah. good quality one. Uh, but I did my mum a picture of her ginger dog, Aww. which was lovely. But I used all my oranges, and then she oh, wanted yeah. a, a picture the same of her cat, also ginger. Yeah. I don't have any more oranges. I need to buy a whole new set to Absolutely. be able to just get two or three oranges. You'll find you've got your favourite colours too. Certain mm. colours you come back to, you go, yes. that, that. like indigo, I love an indigo. I like it, I like a dark oh, grey, yeah. warm grey colour. We'll talk about that shortly. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, but always a white. If you can get an extra white, I would always recommend that. Right, so that's a brief overview. We'll talk more when we start to play. I don't want to bore you with lots of talking. We're, we're going to play very, very soon. But the next thing is the surface. Really okay. important about what surface you're going to use, okay? This here is, well, if you know if you've used colour pencils before, that's just silly. But some people who haven't used colour pencils before will think, why is it not working? Why, why is there no colour coming off? 
The ultimate worst surface you can choose for coloured pencils is something like a mirror card. Right. Now that's obvious. It's super shiny. There's what we call no tooth to it, which yep. is basically the surface texture. Yep. Yeah. It, it just doesn't slides. have. It slides. <laughs> Think of it like an ice rink. Yeah. Yep. I would definitely fall down. That would be me straight away. Step out. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm there. That's it. That's my husband then. No. I didn't do too badly at ice skating, but he was on his bum. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm, I am no Darcy Bussell. But, uh, I'm definitely, definitely. So that's what you don't want. But my very card's obvious, but it could be photo paper. It could be something like a Nina, super smooth, okay. which is great for your pens, yeah. but not for your pencils. Because the thing is with pencils, the only way they stick to the surface mm -hmm. is by getting caught in the nooks and crannies right, okay. of the card. Mm -hmm. So when you think about like, um, it needs a tooth, it needs something to right. grab into. So there are um, different surfaces you can choose. I've got a hot press watercolor card. Right. Brilliant, that'll yep. work great. Craft card works really well. Craft card, cheap and cheerful, I love that. But it's got that texture, hasn't it's it? It's got texture. Right, so then you go to the ultimate. There's on Craft Stash, we have a, um, a product, well, it's, it's, it's a, a well-known universal product. Um, it's called Pastel Mask, but Claire Fontaine. Is yes, it I've seen, yeah. Claire Fontaine. And you say like, she's like a so ballet nice. dancer. <laughs> it, you say it so nicely as yeah. well. I, I'm sure I, I don't even know if I've attempted to say it before. <laughs> and, and you know, I wasn't, I wasn't aware of this. And a lot of crafters and fair dues, you know, I didn't because pen, coloured pencil wasn't my go-to for a long right. time. So when I looked, I thought, what's this paper doing? I'm it. Oh, I feel strange. And I looked up and it's a sanded paper. Yeah, it's really, it's really got, rough. Yeah. It's hard to explain it, isn't it? How it is, it is like a very, very fine sandpaper that you put the nail on the head there. Absolutely. The, and yeah. it's a sanded paper. So then, me being me, just saying, I'm going to give the game away now. I thought, right, sanded paper. Hello, what about wet and dry? <gasps> really? Oh, shall I show you something? Just, I'm giving you the game away. You've got to stay and watch this now. Definitely. Because Go we're going to play on regular card. We're going to colour on. Um, some uh, mixed media card, we're going to use some craft, mm -hmm. um, different, co well not craft card, but cartridge paper, but look at that, that there, shall I put it on that camera so you can see it again? Definitely, definitely. That's so sand paper, that's um, wet and dry paper, and it colours in wow. beautifully, and it colours in quickly. That's so, so if you want to actually, um, you know, get the, get a quick result quickly and effectively, Amazing. That's what you're going to use. So shall we start doing a bit of colouring in? Let's do it. Let's do yeah, it. I'll All bring right. you back to this shot. Now I've just moved away from the microphone a little bit. We're sharing a microphone and apparently I'm a lot louder than you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which doesn't surprise oh, me. I've got quite, I'm usually quite loud. loud. Um, so I've just moved back. So don't think it's because you smell or anything like that. Oh, I promise yeah. it's not. It's oh. just, I've just decided to step back so people can hear you. All right. More. No now, um, I do have a couple of, uh, I certainly saw one question in here. Um, Nova Blackburn has asked, which watercolour pencils did you use last time? I used the Faber Castell. Yes, yeah, the Faber Castell, um, the Albrecht Dura, and I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I need to ask, I need to ask Ben that one as well. But um, <coughs> yeah, the watercolour ones. The thing is with um, with pencils. The thing is with Faber Castell is they have um, an artist range, mm -hmm. like the top one. You know, if you and the the main reason is um, life fastness. Okay, right. so archival, they, they won't fade, that's Lovely. what you're paying for, as well as the pigment content, is the, the fact that if they're in a, you know, they've got to last for years, if people are paying for a, a lot of money for a commissioned work, piece of work, they want them to last, yeah? Yeah. So that's what you, that's the main thing. Um, uh, but the, the student range I have tried, and they're fabulous too, the, oh. the gold faba. You see now, Lou, thing I have to share, right? In my head, there's very little other than colouring in pretty pictures um, and lots of song references. <laughs> so when I'm okay. singing Gold Faber, I'm singing Gold You're Finger. You're singing it, In yeah. my head, yep. doing the whole Shirley Bassey thing. Mm -hmm. I've got the gown on and the arm movements and the whole thing. We can reenact that if you like. Uh, well, and I think we should. <laughs> yeah, but definitely. we may not get another viewer. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> so what I'm doing, big tip, we're, we're starting to colour in here. A temptation when you're new to colouring in is to hold the pencil really mm -hmm. close and put a lot of pressure on. Now this actually brings me to a quick question someone's asked which is right on, uh, oh no I've got to find it now. Um, sorry, somebody did say that they're still getting lines, are they not colouring softly enough? Yeah, and I will probably find your name yes. in a moment. What I would say is what is the pencil using because you know I'm all for um, 
investing in what your budget will allow. Don't, don't, right. you stretch yourself too much, that's, that's not fun, you know, you go where you need to go mm -hmm. with, with your investment. If you have a pencil, which is maybe, um, maybe not the best, best quality, mm -hmm. what happens is, as I mentioned, you look great in the core, they look fantastic, they look just the same as that, that's okay. but when you go to colour in with them, um, you have to put more, feel you've got to put more pressure on, because you want more colour to come out mm -hmm. than is actually there because it's diluted with that filler. You know, that yes. stuff you can't see. Right. So you tend to press harder and then right. you get the etched lines in there. There we go. That will disappear. And also look at the surface you're using. So if this card has got a nice tooth in it, it will, um, you don't need to put much pressure at all. So you can see there, if I pull that on that, that camera there, shut yeah. that there, um, hopefully you can see that See, it's looking a bit fuzzy, but we're going to come to a blending solution next as well because there's lots of ways Ooh. of blending these. And believe me, I've tried them. Oh, I've been, You've been quite, all yeah, of them. in the lab. Oh. I'm not really fun. <laughs> almost. So big, um, the next thing I want to talk about now, because I don't want to do it all at the top of the thing. This pencil, you always want to keep a nice, funnily enough, even though you think, I'm etching, Keep a sharp tip, it actually helps okay. because you have less colour you do little circular movements. Even sharpening a colour pencil is important. This is this is a great shot now, but uh, you've got to open it a certain way. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a, a thing as well. When you tend to sharpen, when you're at school, you turn the pencil, you turn yes. sharpen. Funnily enough, the way to do it is you hold your pencil straight and you turn your sharpener. And look at that, that's that's there. Now I'm gonna let me get that fabulous so how, close detail. How is that different? To turn a pencil. Yeah. Because you tend to maybe your wrist will twist it and you'll right. get it off centre okay. and you can break the core inside. Have you ever yep. done that where you've broken it inside? It's it, always in there. And then yep. you've got to get in yep. get it out. And so it's a waste, isn't it? Of that it core. It is absolute it's waste. So if you tend to get those etched lines, mm -hmm. check out the card, so it's got to have a bit more tooth maybe. And what happens is, it's a trade off, it'll look a bit fuzzier. You'll see the white right. dots in it. Okay. Right? Um, when I've said about watercolour card, make sure it's hot pressed. With watercolour card, you get what they call knocked and you get um, cold, cold pressed, yeah. which is much more textured. Mm -hmm. Hot pressed has been through raw, has to squish it so that the surface is a much flatter surface. And that's really what you want with watercolour pencils. The other is a little bit too lumpy bumpy. Okay? Lumpy bumpy. If you imagine what you're looking for, I mean, if you put it under a mega microscope um, and you think of like things I'm going to fall down on because that's me, right? Um, <laughs> and, like an ice rink. I'm not going there. Yeah. Ice rink, nowhere near. Right, yeah. If I'm on a, a cobbled street, it's also dangerous for me. With my feet, I've got to tell you, they, they, they sweep every bit of the surface. I'm, I'm going, right, cobbled right. street. What I'm quite safe on is like sand. You know, it's like in between. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so think of that. So if you imagine that close-up um, analogy there, that's what, well, that's what we're talking about. And what I would say is, get your card you've got, your craft card, your regular you know, card you've got that you've got for your matting and layering, for your stamping, and try it out. Some stamping cards has got more texture to it. Yes. Um, your coloured cards are going to work as well if they've got a bit of texture to it. So just just have a little scribble, have a bit of play, and um, and then you know work, build on it like that and see what suits you. So what I've done now, I have basically I've concentrated much as I did with the watercolour, my main colour. Mm -hmm. I want these to be pink. Now that's a dark colour. Yes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, lighten it by using um, a solvent to blend it this time. Because oh, okay. you know with watercolour um, pencils, you just water, you just add water to yes. it. Yes. With this, because it's oil based, uh, or if it was a wax based pencil, the um, the gold barrel ones are wax based, funnily enough. These ones are oil based, so mm -hmm. they tend to be a bit softer, right. the wax based ones. Um, you you basically need to break that down with the with so something water will just water. repel, um, and that's a good thing when we come to do a mixed media. Oh, oh of course, yes, yeah, yeah, like that. that, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what? There's lots I've tried, mm -hmm. right? Somebody said, I re well, I've looked it up. Baby oil, tried it. Mm -hmm. I did not. You love didn't. It. No, I didn't love it. I've tried okay. it. It looked a bit greasy and oily. Yes. Okay. So what I tend to um, favour is you can we'll talk about burnishing later on as well is 
a an odorless solvent, um, like a um, this is Sansador. It's a little thing you can get, um, you know, for um, painting uh, supplies right. for oil colour. It's uh, one of those things. It's it's basically um, it's like a thinner, but it's right. odorless. Okay. So if you have, you know, it's safe indoors. You don't, so you don't need the windows open. <laughs> yeah, you don't need the windows open. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then the next thing you do, you've got to eat lots of jam. Right, you know, these so are that's fine. Oh, but lots of jam, that's just one scoop. Well, yeah, that. well, exactly. But then you go back for more because well, like, yeah. oh, we need to share. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> and then get a sponge and squidge it up and put it in a little jam jar and pour some of that in there. And that now is going to be what I'm going to use to blend with. Now, ah. the next thing you might be seeing, which is popular, are these little ah, paper strips. Now, this is going to bring me yeah. to a question okay. from Maria Husk. Um, do you think a blending stump is necessary to get a decent smooth blend? No, and I'm going to show you that because they are great because the benefit of the blending stump for me is you can use very little blender. What you need is the, the smallest amount of this solvent to get the job done for you. And that's the okay. problem I found out with baby oil. It was really hard to control yeah. a very small amount mm -hmm. and even a small amount kind of Maybe the cards are going to be greasy. Yeah, yeah it's that's right, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so this is not, this is breaking that oil, that, that banger down. So when you tap this very lightly, you can clearly see when you've got a little bit of a darker area, that's more than enough to blend it. And what works, what's making it work for you is the little bit of pressure you're putting on in circular movements like this, okay. that is kind of pushing the pigment into the card uh, with this little solvent as possible it's and it's kind of you know polishing it into the card if I, if I lift those two petals up on that camera there Lou, would that help and you can see what that's oh, done yeah if you just come back ever so slightly where we're nice and focused look at that can you see those two petals look at the yeah. difference in them you know, too. Beautiful. Yeah. massive difference and easy peasy now that's great if I've got a lot of that color to do I will work through and I'll do that and that's brilliant but what happens is if you're swapping and changing, and even if you have a lot of these papers, I mean, they're dead, they're cheap and cheerful, they're great, I still like them, they're brilliant, is cleaning them. Oh, oh of course. Oh, there's only one way to clean them, and that is using a sanding block, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. And what you do is when you get them all kind of messy like that, and they're better when they're dry, when they're, when they're a bit wet, they seem to chew up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Have you noticed? Them dry, yeah. Definitely, you just get bits of paper exactly. everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> so what you've got to do is turn them around and clean them. So the next thing was um, brushes. When you when you look at um, watercolor or um, sorry, um, colored pencil artists, a lot of the time you use a brush. Now there's a particular set on craft stash, the crafter's oh. set. Have you seen them on the fan brush? And it's like, yes. oh, it's fabulous. Yes. It's so, so yep. affordable. And there's a couple of brushes in there that work. However, most of us have got like a, the odd makeup brush hanging around yep. moving up. And I found that they tend to be a little bit more firm, a little bit they stiffer, are, yeah. Yeah. right? So, and that's what you want, a firm okay. brush. You don't want a flippity floppity one that's going to move <laughs> around because you want it to kind of like emulate that little bit of pressure that the blending stump had, but um, as a brush and the benefit of that is that you haven't got to keep then blending um, sorry cleaning that blending stump so can you see now this is blending just with the brush so so far what, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the mid tone the main predominant okay. colour I'm putting that down in just areas I want to um, to have the uh, more concentrated colour like the centre of the petals mm -hmm. I'm doing it watercolour style and leaving the paper as the white. Yes. Because even the best white colouring pencil is not as white as if you just leave no. it white. Okay. No. White works, white pencil works great on a coloured base. Yeah. Yeah. But as it's a white paper, I'm just doing that. So now what we've got, that's all I'm going to use that for right now. That's got a little bit of that solvent on it. It's got enough that now I can um, work on doing a little bit of highlight here and there, a little bit of blending. So yeah. what, I've, what I've noticed with these, I should mention as well, get yourself some reference if you think, what does cherry blossom look like? What is it actually you think you know? Can I um, look, have a look and see what kind of, what it is actually, you know, what are the colours? If you look at this one, there's very orangey and red and then very dark in the middle. So I'm using this orange here to put like a little glow around the centre, just scribble it around the middle and that's enough to give it that 
kind of zesty kind of glow. I'll lift this up to the close camera in a minute. Then I'm going to use that dark grey in the center really want to darken that in the middle because there's no light in there at all and it goes right into that petal and then i need a shading tone and i'm going to use the um this purple color okay okay blue is really good shadow color like right a, makes sense a blue yeah, gray or blue. Cool but when you're using pink blue is a good one uh, sorry purple is a good one because mm -hmm. it's already got the pinky color in it so right. I'm just going to sharpen this again, just very quickly when I get the right, hopefully sharpen it the right way. And there we go, I'm going to turn in the sharpener, yeah. not the pencil. It, it's, it's habit, isn't it? It is habit, habit absolutely. Of. And then what I'm doing is I'm going over the top with these little circular movements again, like that. And I'm, I'm now, instead of counting on using the blending solution, because I want to be a bit more precise with this shadow, I'm working a little bit slower on just putting the shadow where I want it. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So I've used it, I'm all for saving time and making you know the job easier and more fun where I can, but where it's worth investing that little bit of extra time, then I'll do that. And that's what I'm doing now is putting a little bit more um, you know, time and concentration into where I want this um, the shadows uh, in a more precise application. There we go. So, I'm, I'm just engrossed. Now, I know a lot of you, we're using the same microphone, and as I said earlier, you can hear me louder than Sheena, which just goes to show Never that happens. I'm just very loud. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying not to talk as much, really, oh, and just let you, let you take over, Sheena, because it's you that we want to hear. Just everyone, I'm just going to, um, before I go really quiet for a good while, I just want to give you a note that we've actually got everything that Sheena's using today, we've got on the Craft Stash website. Can you see I've backed off, so I'm now behind, <laughs> I'm behind this graphic. Um, we've got things from Faith Castell from as little as 17.99. But while you're there, um, lots of you crafters already know that every single day we have a deal of the day. And today we're looking at card making magic alphabet dies. That's the lowercase and the uppercase for just 16.49 both sets. So go and check that out because that will only last until midnight tonight. But we're going to come back to Sheena now and I'm going to go super quiet so that you can just hear everything Sheena's saying. Oh bless, you know, I've never told that I'm talk too quiet. It never <laughs> happens with that, it's like, right So what, let me, um, can I show it on this camera again, Lou? Would that work? On the, on the, Absolutely, you're there anyway. Yeah. yeah, we're good. So um, that there is looking good, but I looked on that picture, you know, to make it look a little bit more zesty, a bit more life mm -hmm. oozing. We've got shadow in it, we've got some nice shading on there, and it's been quick, so that's been taking ages. Yeah. But what does make it look really, um, really just come to life is a little bit of a warm highlight on it. That little, mm. tiny little bit of yellow, just picking up on those flowers, because where the sun's hitting it on a lovely sunny day, it just make. don't be scared of using colour. Get some colour on there, and honestly, it just really does lift it. If I show you now, that little just looks more vibrant. It makes the pink pop yeah, a little bit warmer. more, richer, warmer. Uh, that's the process of colouring that. So that's what we're going to do. Let me show you a bit of the green as well on this one. And um, what would you? How are we doing for time, Lou? What are we? Uh, we've had half an hour, so you've still got another half an hour. Because well, we have to go, we've got to do some colouring in on sandpaper. I mean, really. Yeah, please. You know, you've got to, please, it's got to happen, hasn't it? And you know what? Here's the thing, right? Don't say anything, you haven't seen me, right? But I might be showing you a sneaky peek of my brand new collection. <gasps> I need to see this. Yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot about it. I'm trying to whisper so I can, I can hear you. Say nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I shouldn't whisper because you won't hear me anyway. I'll show. So what I'm doing, when you look at the, um, the cherry blossom kind of colours and things, there's a lot of like red and um, rusty colours in it. Mm -hmm. Now whenever I'm using um, colouring in with green, a lot of the time, again, you don't have to use the pencils just straight out of the box, just like your watercolours and things. Mix them up. You can mix the colours with your pencils, even on the card, especially if you're using a, um, a solution to blend them. So what I've done is I've put some yellow on there and I'm using the same pink that I've used in the in the petals, ah. in the flowers. And what the red does, I, I tend to do this anything I'm doing, because what it does is it, because it's opposite on the colour wheel, it tones down the green. It, it makes it the chroma less strong. It's, it's, it's kind of sits it back a little bit. 
makes it a bit more earthy. Yeah. Right, yeah. So that's what I am um, I'm wanting to add that there. Now, I'm using that, say again, nice pointer there. I'm not what we say burnishing. I'm going to show you what I mean by burnishing in a minute. When you, if you press hard or if you keep adding layers and layers and layers, you will get to the point where you filled in all those little nooks and crannies. Yes. Yeah, there's no more little nooks and crannies to yeah. craft the colour. And that's as much as you can do. So be careful. Is that's that where it starts to sort of go shiny? Absolutely. Right. Now that's the other thing. With a wax-based pencil, that can happen sooner than later because right. waxes tends to be shiny and you get what they say a bloom and it might not even be apparent immediately. Mm -hmm. It might actually just show later on, like, you know, a, a month or so down the line. Right. You can wipe it away, but that's what tends to happen. With the polychromos, with it being oil-based, this is why um, artists love it. They're a slightly harder pencil, but it means you can layer them up and you don't get that bloom as quickly, ah. right? So that's a really good thing. So I'm gonna use that little, tiny little bit of blender again. And and then, so then we'll come on to a little bit of burnishing and show you what how that works as well. So I've put all those colors on there and it's just like when we use the watercolor thing. When you add the the um, the odorless thinners, the um, the sandstone in this case, you can um, you can see it breaks that down, and all those colours just pop out. It also what it I'm, does. I'm, I've gone very quiet. I said I would go quiet, but <laughs> I'm engrossed because I can see this really close up, and I'm just mesmerised by what Sheena's doing. Um, I am kind of, I'm reading the comments as well at the same time, but it's absolutely fascinating. All the tips and tricks, you know, these are videos or demonstrations that you're just going to keep coming back to time and time again. There's lots of questions, but to be honest, you must have an amazing team, Sheena, oh, watching dear. and answering questions. Um, for example, um, let me see. Julie Temperton. Yeah, Julie yeah. is one of the amazing team. Answering yeah. some of the questions in there. There's a few of you. Um, I believe Maria, you're there somewhere as well, aren't you? Um, <laughs> Maria's just sitting there quietly. Yeah, she's um, never been this quiet. People are watching thinking, nah, that can't be Maria. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so there's lots of questions, but they're all being answered. So if you've got a question, flip through the comments because it's likely that someone else may have answered it already for you. Yeah, they're amazing, they're on it. That, that, this is all part of what we do. You know, with the team love um, sharing. It's A product only is good as you know what to do with it. Yes, and that's exactly. why, you know, especially when you're, when you're trying to, when you're championing mm -hmm. um, not the, the, the least expensive product, you know, it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Then I, as a consumer, and definitely as someone who's, who's sharing my love for something, I want to make sure that you know why I am um, singing his praises because it wouldn't be right to just get it because oh because she says it's good. Of I'm course, not it's I want to know why it's good. Absolutely. So if for burnishing, really, so if we look at these little buds here, a different way of blending, we're still going to start with that. I'm going to do that pink there at the base, okay. yeah, right there. So we'll hold it up again and I may go a little bit more over that area. I may use a little bit more pressure, but. Be careful about using too much pressure mm -hmm. because I want it nice and dark there. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the white pencil. Burnishing usually um, comes together if you use a lighter colour. Yeah. White, people use, tend to use white a lot, but it can make it look a little bit pastel if you mm -hmm. use too much. Yeah. You can get the pencils, blender pencils, which are basically the pencil without the colour So like as well. Almost like the binder. Exactly. Exactly what no it is. Pigment. That's exactly what it is. So it's a way of squishing it together mm -hmm. without adding any more colour. Whereas the white will add a bit of colour. So if you were say doing green leaf and you didn't want it to be completely white, you could use a lighter green to burnish over the top. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So what I've done here is I've gone a little bit heavier with that pink, and I'm going to go over with the white now. Now. Um, polychromos white is not the softest of white pencils but that's a brilliant thing if you're using um, as artists do a lot of the time a textured card mm -hmm. because it they last longer you need to use less pressure uh, because it grabs the color does that make sense yeah. absolutely when we come on to this um, sandpaper in a minute I'll show I'm you I'm excited about mean. this Very so excited. this is now burnishing so I'm using a much heavier pressure and I'm going over the whole of that pinky area as well as the um, the white areas 
I'll pop a little bit of that orangey glow there and I'm going to try and let you see this closer so you can see hopefully the difference. Yeah. It becomes very smooth but I can't add any more colour to that now. That's absolutely got all the colour on that it's going to take. Look at that. Let's How realistic that. does that look already? And that's taking you minutes. Oh yeah, it's not a... I am got the patience to take too long. Some people are like, you know, I don't want to chill, but mm -hmm. to do, you're within reason. I don't want to have to be like a whole week's project. No, of course um, not. So, that's that. Let me show you how we put that card together. So, what we would do is I have my... Ah, um, now, we need to see these. Yeah, these, because are, these are so cool. So, that's... You've got the download here. Yeah, you? that's the download. That's, the, that's it. On the sheet, actually, I'll put it on an A4 sheet. So, you get the full backing. Mm -hmm. You get the base card here. I should put it on the right way. Yeah? And then you get your, at the bottom here, you've got a repeat of that. Right. And you've got these little bits here, these other little bits here that I've got ready ah. to get the porridge on top of them. So you've They got look amazing bits. on Don't that. Don't they look cool on the porridge? <laughs> just just realised. Oh, seriously, I've got one already coloured. I'll show you. Uh, we'll put it on black as yeah. well. Yeah, we'll gorgeous. Mess on with it. So, so what, that's it. You print that out. You're gonna, I'm going to mat that on a little bit of black card. Pop it on the thing. I'm not going to do it all and I'm, because I've already done one. <laughs> And you just decoupage it, and that's what you've got there. Okay, that's what you've Beautiful. got there. Beautiful, so simple and but so effective. So, but yeah, and it's just so, and change the colours up. Sometimes things are pinkier, a warmer mm -hmm. pink, a cooler pink. But let's have a look at that on the black. Look, if you, right, see that oh, one I've got ready layered there. And yeah, isn't it? Just you could put your own gold wording on there, a little bit of matte and layering on there. And then I would decoupage these bits here, bring these forward. And if I was putting it on black and I want to cut out the middle bits, and I've got to be honest, I cheated. I used my electronic die cutter. Ah, uh, did you scan it in first? I did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Because, yeah, I thought I wanted to do yep. a few for this, so I had a few lined up, ready You're to good. go. Um, uh, but what you end up, because I didn't want to do the intricate, the, colour that in black. Just get your black of pencil. Course. Just colour it in black. Yeah. Oh, a bit of paint. Mixed media again, when we come on mm -hmm. to that, we, you'll see how, we're using them in isolation at the minute, but you'll see how they all come together. That, well, That's stunning. Pretty gorgeous on black, doesn't it? It, looks it really does. Quite lovely. I'm a massive fan of black and I contrast. Black. Yeah, and absolutely. Any color, bright color against it like that. Absolutely. Shall we move on to doing a little? Shall we? Shall yes. We? Oh, okay. So, uh, let me take a quick look. We are at. We've had 38 minutes. Wow. So okay. we've still got 22 minutes to fill. Do you hey. know what? I don't suppose anyone's going to mind if we run over. Don't I worry don't about. Know. We okay. won't worry That's about fine. it, will we? So let's see. So we're moving to well, the sandpaper. Sand yeah. Look, that's it. Get your DIY shop. I've, I've got a whole pile of it. You can get it in bigger strips, but to be honest, I got them in this little. You know, they're supposed to wrap around the belt sander, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I thought I'd try it out, but you can buy a bigger sheet if you want, if you want to use that. It's and okay. it's important. This is like two thousand. I think I've used fifteen hundred as well. So there's different. You want something definitely around fifteen. The higher the number, the smoother it is. Yes. Just so you know. So fifteen thousand up, I would say. Don't okay. you don't want to be trying to colour in on like you know your core sandpaper. Yeah, sand yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> so that's what we have here. Now what I've done is just so you know ahead of time, I have taken my um, uh, stamping platform. Now this is one I have to shout about this because it's my favourite stamping platform I ever. Is. Isn't it amazing? Oh, it's fabulous. I've got to say it right, you know what? <laughs> I had a fear of magnets for a while because I had I a stamp, yeah, I've got a few stamping platforms and I wasn't impressed with the magnets and I, and I did stop using them and you know, you've seen me on TV and all of you guys, who, lovely people who've been watching me go on and on about using tape because I didn't trust magnets. These magnets are fantastic. I use them you again. You know what? I've had them in the past in, in other platforms where they've broken. The magnets have broken because they've snapped together so quickly. So, yeah. But these can't because they've but, got the plastic coating on. And they grip brilliantly. Yes, they, they do. do. hold it steady. And it's, uh, what I also love is you can position it. Hello, where am I in the right place? Nothing's happened. No. Well, back until you go, oh, squish. Absolutely. I love, yeah, you yes, know all about it. this, but oh, I'm yes. like, is this a new love for me? Is it's, this a new, yeah. So it fits all your stamps. It does, yeah. I love it. It's, it's really, it's, and it's so well made, which is important. I want these people that, you know, get the box, I want to see what's in it, and I want to see how well it's made. Absolutely. So For those who have just joined us, the stamping platform that Sheena's talking about there is from the Creative Craft Products range, which you will, of course, find on Craft Stash. Yay. So, what I've, I've did a few ahead, because this is, 
sort of expensive. Now what I would say is if you love this and you've practiced on the sandpaper, go and invest in that Claire Fontaine paper. Okay. Because that is absolutely guaranteed or high. But if you're doing something as a commission and you're moving outside because right. your confidence is growing, you've used a stamp in the background, doesn't matter look at the stamp blueprint underneath. No, of course not. Yeah. Doesn't matter. You can still colour them and sell them mm -hmm. as wall art whenever. But maybe you know use that but practice on this a bit for cards as well. Yeah. And you know, it's all great. So absolutely. What I'm going to do is just take one of them. I should say I stamped it using an oxide because I was going to are, say yeah, that's absolutely pink. And I used the predominant pink because I thought well, I'd rather have a bit of pink in the green than green in the right, pink line yes. for me for me flowers. So that well, you sense? just put you just put pink in the leaves in the last one, didn't you? Absolutely. So that makes sense. So that's what I stamped it with, and that's okay. that's great. We're good to go. I'm not going to use any solvent on this one at all. We don't need it because here's how we're going to work with this one. We're going to start with the white pencil. Okay. Right? What I should mention is what you could do is get yourself something to protect your hand because you will find this is great for pasta as well. Again, did I mention mixed media? Here we go again. <laughs> if you use like a, a, a dry pastel yes. in the background and smudge, smudge this in a bit. Right. You can do it with your pencil as well. You get a gorgeous diffuse wow. back. Oh, again. We, we do you know what? There's so many video ideas coming out here that hopefully you'll find a craft stash soon. Yeah, honestly, All we these have tips got, and techniques. you know, Lou, the fact that we've got this time before the launch of my um, brand new collection mm -hmm. yeah. has been an absolute gift because I want to sharpen this pencil. I want it sharp, I want it sharper than that on the outside. This is important because when I'm defining these lines, because it's a, um, it's a rough paper, it's, it, you don't have to, don't put pressure on this. No, okay. okay? No, pr no pressure. You just don't need it. No pressure. Expect. You don't. But what you, what you will want is a nice sharp tip to define the, the line. Can you see how that's much nice and sharp? But Absolutely. Nice and sharp and nice. So um, let's do a larger flower no, just to make Did you it. mention new collection? Oh, I did mention new collection. Oh, she did mention we it. We should actually show that. We've got to make sure. This is actually from the new collection. Ah, oh, there we go then. So, um, do we have a date? We do have a date. <gasps> go yeah. on. We've got the launch on TV on... 18th of May and then the launch here on my daughter's birthday Yay! 20th of May brand new collection from Sheena and this is the first sneak peek you won't see it anywhere else well I don't think you'll see it anywhere else well, Sheena will we see no, this we anywhere, else, seen it anywhere <laughs> else no <laughs> just double and check <laughs> shall I tell you as well it's a concept one as well what I'm using here is what I'm calling the wireframe because I draw well I'm trying to do a little bit of a sneaky peek and little heads up into it I draw with cross hatching and detail, and you get um, realism. Yeah, I like yep. it to look so that you've got enough shading, so it gives it contouring, and you can you get a you know a look a, a, a real hopefully a realistic look. But what happens if you want a different look at that? What happens if you want to use your pens and you want to change the line? You want to you want to you want to paint the piece. You want to make it look funky. Mm -hmm. You can't actually do that. What about if I coloured this in and then? You say you want to use your um, embossing inks on it, right? Well, when you oh. use embossing ink, you're going to emboss everything, aren't you? You're going yes. to emboss the cross-hatched lines, the shading, and that that's not right because that's supposed to be shadow. It's not supposed to be gold or silver. So what I've got is exactly the same image repeated in a what I'm calling the wireframe, the fine, just non-detailed line. Ah. And that then you can colour in with whatever you want to colour in. Then you put it in a position and you stamp over it to emboss that line so you've got a gilded edge to it. Wow. You can foil it, you can you can emboss it in any of your other embossing um, powders you've got. Gold, silver, transparent, if you just want to put a glittery edge to mm -hmm. it, you can use the, the clear glitter ones. So anything you want to overlay, you can do that. But at the same time, we're going to be playing with pens and we're going to be looking at making lines a bit interesting and funky and making it your own, making that image completely your style, your look for whatever whatever style and practice you want to um, look you want to go for. So look at how I've already done that. That's, that's one layer. That's, that's so super, quick. super, isn't it? So I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use a mid pink in this one because I want to have it blended a little bit more, so I'm going to use a, a lighter pink. In fact, you know what? I might not. I'm going to eliminate that. I've just decided we, we can do it quicker. We'll just use this one. And we'll go in with this gorgeous rose 
colour default. In fact, it's called middle purple pink. As what Mid kind of middle purple, middle purple pink. Well, that explains it. Yeah, exactly. I love it when you get like you know fancy names and then they'll call it pink. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's what it says on the. It is what it tin. says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at fancy names. I'm quite literal uh, with stuff like that. So now I'm going over with this, and you can see um, just not heavy pressure, just circular movement like this. And I'm looking at, you know, the thing is as well, with when you're using a dark paper, don't feel you have to colour in all of the paper. Make it work. But you know how we use the white on the white card as yes. the highlight? Yeah. Well, you might as well use the dark because the shadow. Ah, mm. You just have to plan ahead, I you guess. You do have think. to. <laughs> I would say use normally like no more than three colours for a blend. Yeah. Right, don't okay. think you've got to get fancier than that. So I'm looking at the white predominantly here. And really, pretty much the white and the pink will do it really for us for this one. So you just go ahead and we're blending that, and then we'll I'll let you see how that looks. Do you have any more questions, or is it on the team on it? Are they, they're, all they're all on it. They're answering yeah. everything. Um, I've popped over to YouTube. Yeah. Um. So we've got oh, Beth Rogers has joined us from New York. Hey. Hey. Fantastic. Um. So Deborah Smart joined us a little bit late. She asked which pencils you're using, but that's been answered straight away from the lovely Sarah Gray from Funky Fossil, hey, who did say that. earlier that she loves to use polychromos. I think she said yeah. they're her favourite or something along those lines. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, they are. If you look at all the artists, like tutorials and things like that, they um, it's the go-to because yeah. you know they're just they're just quality. That's it. If, if fine artists are using them. We know what good in the craft world to use them. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So um, there's so many people. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just reading. There's so many comments. They're just basically loving what you just said. How pretty it is. How um, it looks gorgeous oh, on the black. The images are lovely. Well, this is just a sneak peek of an image. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna have to make sure we will do that at the end. Of see yeah. nothing. We'll do. Yeah. See if that. you hang around till the end, you get the sneaky peek for what's yeah. coming up. I mean, it's nearly. What's it? About three weeks. It is, yeah. Some round about that. Yeah. Some that I've got a couple of samples finished to show you. <gasps> oh, yes, I please. Know, really, we're starting to them. So, um, yeah, so this is one of those images. And so it's just, I wanted to give you something fun to play with so that you could, again, make it, you know, your style, your way. Now, I'm not going to colour this whole thing in because I think we've got, there's quite a bit to do, but we'll do some greenery next. But you can Lovely. see how. Let that. me just switch the one. camera yeah. for you so you're in, in this it, exactly. one. You can see yeah, how that flower. Go. Look at that. That's two colours. I've left the grey in the centre to give it the shading. Amazing. Yeah, that that's just looks phenomenal. That's it. And the sandpaper. Get to, get your get your uh, DIY shop. I hate going to <laughs> DIY shops because I can't do full shop in a DIY shop. Even I try. You know, I can't get excited about an extra bucket or something. No, you know? no, 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 no. But, but, but for this, yeah, I'm good for that. Wet and dry. It's yeah, not quite exactly. sand. You don't get the the sand come off on no, this. No, that's, that's right. And it's really durable too. Mm. Just just be careful you don't smudge it with your your fingerprints. So let's do this big leaf. So I'm going to go with a lighter cut. Look at that. I'm already touching it. It's just pulling it off the pencil, pops. isn't it? Oh, you are going to love. Seriously, you're going to love working with this surface. I should say as well, you think, well, your pencils will go down quick. Well, they didn't. You see, there's still all that white there. It, it doesn't. I was going to say, yeah. you've hardly. The only reason you've sharpened yeah. is to make that point the slightly point, sharper. Exactly. It's exactly. not because you, it's running out. I mean, no. it will. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Of course. Yeah, but, but it's not like you think. And you don't have to press like super, super, super hard to get this colour off here. And it looks more like a soft pastel than a pencil, which I love. It that does. Color. It does. And tidy though because soft pastels can be a bit messy oh you know they, they powder can get everywhere absolutely and, and like then that. you can lean oh. in it and oh i'm i'm the messiest oh. as in with whether it's doing art or dyeing my hair or oh. painting the furniture i just yeah. get things everywhere i oh. can't i'm hearing you you know i'm there i'm with you i could share a story that probably maria would be cringing thinking please don't tell them please don't tell them <laughs> maria i think i may tell them we went out for a, a birthday meal, <laughs> for his birthday for a curry, a curry of all things, right? You know, the thing right. that the last thing you want to get all over your clothes, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't want it, you don't want curry all over your clothes. Uh, tasted delicious, but I reached over for um, for my popper don, <laughs> and I didn't realise that. Oh, I felt like a warm glow all over, and I thought, what's this? Is that coming from? I'm not kidding. I'm pleased with dress cash. 
I thought this had been a business meeting or something. There's no way this deal or this I'm getting that job. <laughs> that was it. No, it was under my arm. It was on. It was always on here. It was on me. And was I it thought, the bright yellow as well. Oh, it was it was it was very yeah. It was it was um vibrant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I am anyway. such a show up. Honestly, I, seriously. Yeah. Probably too much information there, but no, hey, no, we, it's nice to know that you don't spend all your time in just an art studio, because yeah. you know when you can colour like this, you think, do you ever do anything else? Well, you know what, it's, and I do enjoy it. But you know what, the other thing I should mention, and I was talking to um, Debbie, you know, the head of my amazing head yes. of Mrs. she come in stunning, as all oh, the rest of the team, they are amazing. And what we're saying, I think what we need to make, you know, share more is that. We don't automatically get it right the first time. No, of you know not. you don't do it and go, "That's great." You do it and think sometimes, "Oh, maybe you should do that the next time." Or, well, that, "I wonder if that would be better if I tried that." And that's exactly what I've found when I started doing this again because I hadn't used my pencils for a little second. You know, you come back to something and you've got to get into it again and get your head. In. I forgot to leave the card, the dark area as the shadow, and I thought it doesn't have the pop. It should have. Well, of course, it won't because I didn't leave that mm -hmm. dark area yeah. to, to show that off. So, so that hopefully is showing you um, what you can do. Is you can go and get a bit of blue in there. Look. Look at that. I mean, who'd have thought to put a bit of blue in a leaf? And then we've got a really dark. So this, these bits where the, it's curling over, and we've got a dark little. And what you can do as well, we, you know, where sometimes you lose the veins in your leaves and things. I've put them in there. But if you colour them, you, you well, we'll put them back in with this blue pencil. So make sure it's nice and nice and sharp. Wow. And then we'll just go look at the hat. Don't think you've got to, you know, oh, did she have that line there? It doesn't matter. No. You create new ones. It doesn't matter that, you know, what's underneath, it's what's on top that counts. So that's where we'll um, Amazing. show you that how that's coming together. And then we'll then we'll show you the finished one and then shall I give you a sneaky peek? Yes, please. And um, people are ask, answering questions in here, so I don't need. I will just just cover for anyone joining who doesn't want to comment. Um, while we're looking, look at that. How three dimensional does that look? Amazing. It just works, doesn't it? It's stunning. It just saw it. And now yeah, that wasn't loads and loads of colours. So that roll is an absolute beautiful thing. I've had rolls before, and they haven't been made like this. Is this is a gorgeous thing, Lou? And if you can treat yourself, it's a lovely thing to have. But Absolutely. go for the set that you is affordable for you yes. because see how few are used. So we're talking about uh, Faber Castell or Faber Castell. Faber Castell. I hope we're yeah. saying it properly. Yeah. Uh, Faber Castell um, available on Craft Stash at the moment. This isn't a selling show. This is purely Absolutely. Sheena's inspiration, tips and techniques. But if you are um, encouraged to try pencil colouring, this is definitely a fantastic set to go for. Now this is one selection. But there are sets on there from Faber Castell from seventeen ninety nine, I believe, yeah, was the fabulous. smallest set, and you can have a go. the um, The material that Sheen has been colouring on has actually been wet and dry, Absolutely. like your sandpaper yeah. from a DIY shop. Yeah. But there are comments talking about the pastel papers yes, as well, pastel mat, pastel mat, pastel mat, um, and there's um, there's um, there's the pastel papers on there which will work as well. There we pastel go. papers that. Um, and and then the Claire Fontaine. The Claire Fontaine is is quite is the priciest of it. Yes. So use that for your once you practice a bit and yeah. use it for your final things and maybe your wall art because mm -hmm. stamps on wall art too. These are big enough for wall art. This. And if you want to sell them and you want to gift them, by all means do that. Okay? Perfect. Thank so, you. So um, so what we've got that's the finished a finished card there with a little sneaky peek of one of the stencils in the background, keeping it quite um, simple. Do you want to see another? Yeah, definitely. So these are tw 20th of May on Craft Stash. Yeah, these yeah. will be launching. Make a note in your diary. You probably won't see many other sneaky peeks mm -hmm. between now and then. So this okay. is exclusive for you. Can you see what <gasps> Debbie's done here? So what she's done exactly that, she's coloured these in with the pencil on a smooth card. Mm -hmm. And then she's over stamped it with the wireframe. I'll show you what I mean. Shall I show you? Will that one see it even better? Or will you will we go? Can you see that? Yeah, one? we can have a look at that one. Let's take a look at this so close up on what? here. Oh, I won't get it. There we go. Okay, so I'll if we just there. if you lay that down and up, we might be able to pick that gold up. Can you see Let's the have line a, I have to come away a little bit. 
It's these camera angles because you've got gold on there. Yeah, we can see and it. Look at that. Yeah. Look, we've got it. So you've, you've got, got the detail in all the colour. It hasn't interfered with a natural shading. Not at all. But you've got a gilded, pretty outline that makes it look really. And the backing paper is part of the, um, of the collection shade as well. Oh. Here's a different look here with the pencils, with a, um, oh. another one of the stamps from the big board. Gorgeous. Are they like dahlias? Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, yes. Yeah, you can see nothing. You can see, didn't see we didn't see those, no. So, there's still another one to see. There's one more, but I've got two of them here to show you. So, this is that's that dahlia one, right? So, this is your detail. Look at the detail oh, on that one. That's what I would normally draw. Yes. There. Yeah. But this is the new thing you've got. This is what the, the wireframe. So, you then oh. overstamp that. So, it's once just you've the it. outline, really. But, yeah. But more than an outline. Oh. An outline, say you get an outline die, you just get in the this, outline. Right. It's just a triumph. You know, okay. when you get your thing, yeah. you get the idea, and then you get the thing, you go, oh, yep, yep. works, and there's a theory to it. Okay. So this is stamped with the black soaked distressing. All right. right. Okay. And you see, it's, it's not even been trimmed down, it's a tiny bit of coral, and blended just with water. But then the gold over stamped over it, so, wow. and then a little bit of just that monochrome black soot in the stencil. The quickest of quick try out to just see how it comes together. But that's how that overlay works. Oh, um, let me so show you the other one. So, image. everybody, if you've stayed watching for the hour, this is kind of your sneak peek for next month when she launches her first collection with craft stash um we may be slapped on the wrist when we get back we to the office for this but it, we, we don't know yeah. we don't we're in it we're, we're, yeah. we're <laughs> yeah, to yeah, we'll, go. <laughs> we'll go for lunch instead so um yeah these won't be available until may but you know we really want to show you because these are so exciting a new brand new concept yeah, that i've not seen before no and there's more stencils to go with this i wanted oh. textures i wanted layering stencils, but i wanted that organic natural look oh, amongst them as well look at with and and, and there's, there's another more. stamp and there's more and then back in paper so here's the thing you know i love to ink and mm -hmm. do something more but i love a back in paper if i just want to use it and they're pretty great but then i want to do more to it so what i thought was with color theories i love let's have three cool colors mm -hmm. there so we've got the three cool colors here in the background so shadow so this should always be back in i think you know yes. that, that's the the star of the show right you don't want to compete with that's the that's the support and cast. So it needs yeah. to be subtle. Subtle, but it can ink on them. You can use your uh, blues, I your purples, to ink on it them. It looks super smooth. Yeah, from this, really, from this really, angle. Yeah, and you've got the shadow texture reflecting things. So you've got your three cool colours. We'll talk mm -hmm. about that one thing with them. But you better be quick because I feel like I'm doing it out of a suitcase or something on the street. We, so yeah, you know, we, we are. are. We are. Yeah, yeah. Ready to move on. Ready to quickly. Run, put your run, overcoat on run. and go. <laughs> <laughs> And these are the warmer tones, so we've got the, the oh, bees, bumblebees, oh, so cute. Oh, and there's bee in the stamp as well. And so that's how we've got all of those things to come together. So, and there's a quick idea of, believe it or not, that started out as a wireframe, but I've drawn over it with a pen, and I'll be doing some tutorials on that, how to make great, it. Right, right. And that's a wireframe made to look like it's a little... Um, it's like stitching. Exactly. Oh, wow. So you can paper piece that, and so that's what you get, and that's why it's a cool... How exciting. Do you know what? That brings us to dead on half past one. So that is wow. an hour exactly. Well done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that yeah. is phenomenal. Now, one thing I didn't mention, which is a surprise for everybody who's watching, because I completely forgot to say at the beginning, um, you are happy to give away absolutely something that you were making. Yes. So um, yes. if you're still happy one to do that, absolutely. We, I will I will just pick a name um, because I forgot to tell Hillary. I apologise, Hillary. She's watching and I've got to say. So I'm just going to scroll through. Uh, where am I? I'm on YouTube. Here you go. So I'm just going to Ooh, scroll through and go, so that yep. person. Oh, there we go. Would you like to? Oh, no. Oh, you would. You that? It, yeah. Oh, sorry. Laura Bueller. I'd Is it Bueller? So. I'd say so. I hope that's Bueller because now I'm doing Ferris Bueller on my head. The film. <laughs> Oh, Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> okay, if you've seen the film, yeah, with me. If you Laura, <laughs> Laura, watching on YouTube. I'm sure there's not many with uh, names similar to that. So congratulations. <laughs> She was going to give you this card. Can yeah. we get a little signature in it? Absolutely. We've all signed it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I mean, not me. They want your signature. <laughs> and we'll send that out to you. Laura, if you just um, message the Craft Stash team, either on Facebook or by uh, Craft Stash Customer Services, email us there and send us your postal address and we'll get that out to Fantastic. you. Fantastic. I apologise. I meant to mention that at the beginning. Um, this has been so lovely because it's not been selling. You can see the, all the products that Sheena's been using, you can get on Craft 
sash, of course. Uh, but it's all about the inspiration today. I, absolutely. And it's been wonderful. I've learned so, so much. Now, I've done colouring for years. Um, I didn't tell you that. I'll just sit here and pretend I don't know anything. I have done <laughs> colouring for years. And I've still picked up so many tips and techniques. We do that with each other all the time, don't we? Absolutely. You think, you, you think you know, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, that's great, yeah. There's exactly. so one thing, it's worth it for me. And I think I'm going to be investing in more of the polychromos as well. Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Uh, Sheena will be back in May, if not this fall. I'm sure we'll do things before, oh, yeah. uh, whether it be live or video. So keep an eye on that. If you want to keep up with all of our videos, things like this, tips and techniques, go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Or of course, if you're on Facebook, make sure you are following our page and keep updated with everything there because we always have things like competitions, giveaways, and offers with the lives too. So talking of lives, next Friday, or this Friday, two days time, we've got the lovely Helen Griffin. She's going to be launching one of her Simply Made Crafts uh, collections. Now this one is all about the albums. So if you love your mini albums, your journals, um, your scrapbooks, that's one for you because she's got a brand new binding kit that just makes it so, so simple. It's amazing. I'm really excited about this one. Um, but also some fantastic papers. So uh, there's a fabric paper and a reinforcing paper, and oh, she'll nice. be showing you. Oh, that, it's really exciting, sure, yeah. really exciting. And um, yeah, it's been flying already. So be quick. If you love your album binding and making albums, go and check those products out, and then come back on Friday and watch for inspiration from Helen. Um, so hopefully, I'll see you again very soon. Thank, thank you so great. much. Thank you, everyone. Both of you, Maria's sitting behind there. She can <laughs> relax now. Yeah. Um, thank you both so much, and we'll Cheers, see you again soon. And thank you all for watching. So take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.